stock your pantries now for the holidays, folks, because there may not be too much stuff left. This is Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Thank you for joining me today on this video. And we're talking about your holiday preps and what could be coming along. And make sure that you do buy some extra stuff if you do find some good sales, if you find some good deals and everything else. You want to make sure that you're really putting that stuff up and use it for a rainy day. Put it in your emergency pantry and this way here you'll have it for a later date. And maybe you got a really good deal on it buy one get ones and this type of stuff i don't know how far those are going to go this year coming into this uh, holiday season a lot of shelves are not fully stocked so i don't know if you're going to see such the killer canned good sales that uh, usually roll around this time of year which is a great time to really put up canned goods because of the shortages and the availability of a lot of these products to be on the shelves i don't know if you're actually going to see the big sales if anything i think you're going to start to see prices even go higher because the demand is going to be high and the supply is going to be low so this is why it's so important for you to start making your meal plans now for your holiday season what you want to have how much you're going to need and everything else and you might want to start hitting the stores early and try to hit up some of those and make sure that you are getting what you want because if you wait to the very last minute this year you're not going to get anything you'll be lucky to get a candy bar and maybe some chips because unfortunately if you haven't noticed those aisles all the junk food well that's usually always on the shelves there's plenty of junk food to go around so if that's the kind of holiday season dinner or lunch that you would like to have then you are golden. You can wait until the day that a holiday rolls around and you'll get plenty of whatever it is you're looking for. But if you're looking to pick up a, say, turkey, duck, ham, goose, if you want a roast, if you want anything like that, you may start wanting to look around and buy what you may need earlier than what you normally would. Yes, you're probably going to pay more. You're going to pay more anyways, folks. Let's just face it. Inflation is kicking in high gear and it isn't stopping. It's just going to get higher and higher. Prices are going to rise and rise. So don't wait for those deals. You're not going to get that turkey for 39 cents this year, a pound. If you do, snag a few of them and put them in the freezer because it's just something good to have. I mean, you can get a lot of meals out of turkey. Now, a lot of people don't like turkey, but in a pinch, in an SHTF type situation, if you can cook a turkey, you get a lot of meals out of it. So on that point, just make sure that you're out there, you're capitalizing on any deals that you can get now. Some stores are starting to put restrictions on how many cans you can buy. Um, a lot of that is also on your order pickup or order delivery if you go into the stores you can buy just about whatever you want the last time i was in walmart i noticed there was no limitations written on the shelves as far as canned goods and that nature but if you go online and you try to do an order for delivery they're limiting you to certain amounts depending on the product doesn't make sense to me either folks but that's what they're doing if you want to deliver it to your home you're limited if you want to come into the store you can get whatever you want okay it is what it is everything that everything that's going on nowadays is just kind of like um ass backwards if you ask me so that's why it's so important for you all to get out there, make sure that you are preparing, make sure you're stocking your pantry for the holidays and prepping for food shortages because this is what we do. This is what we have to do. This is what everything that we are talking about on this channel and everything else is to make sure that you're prepared, make sure that you are ready for any type of situation or if things go south in this day and age that we live in. 
also you want to make sure that if you are planning to have a holiday festival dinner or anything at your home and you are finally getting all your family and friends together for this you want to make sure that you are preparing what you want to prepare and make sure that you can get it while you still can don't wait until the time is up and you're not able to come through with what it is that you're looking to do so i am survival preparedness for beginners thank you for joining me on this quick video today i really do appreciate it comment on what your favorite holiday food is put that in the comments below let's go a little uh, creative here and see what your favorite holiday food is it can be dessert it can be meat it can be a side dish it can be rolls bread it can be whatever it is what is your favorite holiday side dish till next time catch all of you on the flip side mm -hmm.